Welcome back to the vlog. We are home from California and I just got my nails done. Kara Loren inspired. Um, I follow her on Instagram. Anyway, I'm gonna grow on some errands after this and then go home. I am in the car and it is so hot in here. What's the temp? No way. It says it's 93 degrees. Okay, put some AC on. It's good to be home. I have struggled getting myself like out of vacation mode back into like everyday mode. Thought I would start a new vlog. Evelyn's going to Europe this week. She's getting ready for that. And then Marla's going on a high adventure group activity with the youth for at our church. We have not set up our pool yet. It's so hot. But then like I saw the weather and it's supposed to like dip down low again. So I don't know what's going on. This weather is kind of crazy. Okay, you know what? I can tell you how messy my car is. And maybe you don't want to see how messy it is, but I do want to show you like I literally need to wash my car either returns trash junk whatever cameras are in my car marla's clothes from her video that they filmed or photo shoot that they went on those are my returns that's just trash camera backpack clothes from her photo shoot sheets for di um a rug and i've got more bags in the back okay i'm out of breath i just got whew, i think everything that was in the car on the dashboard so i can vacuum like really i think my car is a closet when they do a photo shoot literally night and day difference i just vacuumed this is my return this is my backpack that's my drink and then i just folded everything that the girls left shoes and some hats and then i'm gonna take that to the thrift store okay like two hours later i'm home well, like almost three hours later i'm home from running errands uh some of you have asked that i do more recipes in my videos but hey marla but um, I haven't been really home much and I haven't been vlogging at home. So now I'm home and I'm gonna cook. It's a pretty simple meal. Uh, it's just basically chicken with pesto sauce and noodles. This is the pesto sauce that I'm gonna use. I've got my chicken here. The girls put on the water for me. They're like mom cooked dinner. These are the noodles that I'm gonna cook up. Okay, I feel like I'm a little scatterbrained today and this is a little unorthodox for me to do this, but I'm taking a whole cube. No, I'm not using the whole cube. And I'm going to just put it in my pan to grease the pan up. I think chicken with butter is good or olive oil. Use whatever you wanna use. Just taking the butter and I'm going to melt some in the pan. My hands are clean after cutting up the chicken. Of course, I wash them again. Usually I have the pan a little hotter than what it is right now, but that's okay, it's gonna cook up. So I'm tooting my own horn because I told Marla, where are you? I told her about a song for her music's favorite video. And I liked it. it she was liked so it. Good. Tell them the no, name of it. No, it was actually it. good. Uh, well, searching, I should know. Searching the Blue. Searching the Blue by the Arcs. Yeah. It was really good. This is how easy. I just put probably like a fourth a cup in here. I'm gonna stir this up. Might not look like much, but then when I add the chicken, I'll add more. I decided to add a little bit of Parmesan. That's probably like a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna add a little black pepper. The chicken is browning up nicely. I added like a tablespoon of water to the pan, just like a deglaze. So you do want it all like browned up. So this, is that cooked all the way you swear on your life? Oh. You swear, mom. Okay, I have the chicken all browned up. How to deglaze it a few times. I already showed them that. Now I'm just adding the chicken and then we'll add more pesto. And then presto. This is my favorite dinner. I think this is Marla's favorite oh, dinner. Oh, keep going. Yeah, it seriously is a favorite. Except for Oliver's, because he no, eat no meat. Tell me when to stop. Is that more? <laughs> so <laughs> add the whole good. jar. Just kidding. What do you call this? Mix it up. So Seriously, good. so easy, you guys. Make it today to or tomorrow. I'm trying to get skinny shot. I'm not eating this. What? I'm on a different diet. I'm going to lose so much weight, you're not going to recognize me in the next vlog. Okay, Amanda's home from activity days. Oh no, is your allergies acting up? Oh, no bueno. Okay, you guys have to tell me what you think of my, well, it's really your oh, guys' so recipe. What is it? Oh, yeah, see? Even Amanda's like, I love this stuff. Reaction? It's so good. Yeah, good job. Simple good job. and good. Okay, Amanda's gonna try it for the first time. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. Okay, now look at my nails. Those are pretty. I like the colors. And then look at this hand. Wait, hold on. Ooh, I like that one too. Yeah, it's fun, huh? Yeah. Hey guys, so I just finished the dinner. So good, 10 out of 10, mom. I tried making basil pesto pasta one time and the pasta was chewy and the pesto tasted off, so I don't know. The chicken wasn't cooked. And the chicken wasn't cooked all the way, so I don't know like what I did, but it just didn't work. So, 
basically mom did a very good job on that I'm still working on it but so tomorrow I'm heading up to Capital Reef I think it's called That's but it. I'm gonna go on a very so basically tomorrow I'm heading up to Capital Reef for the weekend with a young women's group and we're gonna go hike and camp underneath the stars kind of nervous no I'm fine I think it'll be you fun Mm -mm, they're sleeping underneath the stars. <laughs> you don't have to get snatched. No, I'm gonna... <laughs> anyway, I'm really excited for it. I think it'll be fun. I'm going with one of my best friends, so that'll be good. I still need to pack for it. Oh my goodness! Yes, but... you need a pack. What do you need? Okay, I don't know I'm eating my dinner, guys. Here, show them. This is artichoke jalapeno dip. Just the chicken instead of the noodles, because I get enough carb in my diet. And then some cucumbers. Mm. Very nice. I had like three bowls of the pesto. So, are you serious? Yeah. Okay. The only meal you ate today. Oliver just got home. You know what that means? What? You're home. Oh, oh man. <laughs> and dinner's ready. I made him a vegetarian dinner. I didn't show you guys, but I concocted it. It's rice and water and coconut milk in your steamer, your rice steamer. And then I added green chilies, white beans, and cilantro. This is the concoction that I made. Honey, look at it. That looks really good. And then he likes to put his green salsa, which I bought more of. Guacamole salsa? Yeah, the guacamole salsa. And the red salsa too. Right? It's this one right here. This is his love, his second love. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna like lay this on. Right now we are lining for lining. What are these called? Lining what? We lined the uh, uh, cupcake tins. So yeah, the recipe is feel good foodie. So, so we here making yeah. vegan banana muffins. We have a bowl right here, and then we're gonna be adding the dry ingredients. Basically, this. I don't know what this is. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the dry ingredients. So I'm pouring in this, and I'm just gonna pour all the dry ingredients in, and then I'm gonna mix it with a whisk. Cut up the bananas, and then you're gonna like mush them. I have all the dry ingredients in here, and so I'm just gonna put the banana in when it's mushed up. I think it's syrup. So we're just gonna now mix it with the spoon. Does this look weird? <laughs> I'm be adding the blueberries. So now we got our blueberries in and all our ingredients mixed, the dry ingredients, the wet ingredients, and our blueberries. This is what ours look like. Kate knows how to do it and I don't, so I'm just gonna let her kind of <laughs> do that. You gotta be careful. Because it might be hot. It's really hot, so be careful when you put this in. So it's in, don't burn yourself. We pulled the first batch out. So guys, we're gonna try the muffins now. Like they before. Look good. <laughs> yeah, they look delicious. Mmm. <laughs> mm, those those are good. good. One out of ten. Ten. Same. <laughs> I've been teaching Nathan how to do stick shift driving. How like ride a car with a stick shift. How to how to take a car and put it into gear. How to how to drive a car without it stalling. Actually, this is only my second time teaching him. Lessons how to drive a stick shift. Put the clutch in. Put the car in neutral. No. Wait. Push the clutch in. Put it in first gear. Give it some gas. Slowly let off the clutch. It's really hot in this car. It has no AC. It's almost a hundred years old. Oh wait, 1978 to 2019. The keys to this car look like it should be to a tiny P.O. box. I forgot to wear sunglasses, so I just put on my husband's hat. What is that? Okay, really, Nathan? It's 100 degrees in this car. Where are you? Ew. Did that come with the car? Nathan, are you coming out? Call Nathan. Calling Nathan Henry. It's turning into sweat. Hey, Mom. I've been sitting in the car waiting. Oh, buddy. What? Coming. Coming? Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Wait, I didn't think about rolling down the window. Not electric. Okay, do you remember what to do? Uh, you need the keys. Yeah. Start the car. Remember what you do with your left foot? Okay, you remembered. What gear does it go in? Testing. First. Yeah. Okay. Give it some gas. Get off the brake. Give some gas. There you go. I'm a pro. He's in first gear. You're going to slowly let off the clutch with some gas. Is the emergency brake on? Uh, probably. I think you pull on the little knob. Oh. And there you go. <laughs> okay, Nathan is doing so good, you guys. But I told him, what would you do if that kid got right in front of us? Just slap it right in the neutral and 
step on the brake. So let's go do some circles. Smooth. That was good. Keep your eyes on the road. That little biker bit, get out of here, this is not safe. Okay, second circle. We're doing good. You can even drive the regular streets if you want. Am I able to brake without putting the clutch in? You're coming to a stop. Yeah, you need the clutch in if you're in gear. Only when you're in neutral, you don't need the clutch in. The horse is in the back, sun in the seat. We're learning stick and we're feeling the heat. This is not an easy car to drive. Like if you bought a 2019 stick, you probably wouldn't even have to switch gears. This car is like, it's muscle. You need muscle for this car. Marla thinks she's gonna drive this car to school. I think she'll last maybe getting to school. Wow, I'm impressed. This takeoff is very smooth. There's somebody here. Okay, we've upgraded to the road. It's doing really good. Practically doesn't need me anymore. Okay, we, oh, starting over, blah, blah, blah. I think they, can't even talk. I think Nathan's doing pretty good. We're gonna head home now and what do you want to say? No, starting over, I was all lame. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And learn how to drive a manual. It's yeah, fun. if you don't know how to drive a manual yet, maybe after this video you do. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.